King of the Road. Thanks again for watching the King of the Road Show. I'm Jim King. In this episode, we're wrapping up our look in the rear view at the recent Texas Rice Festival in Winnie. In this segment, we'll continue our visit with legendary Texas troubadour Gary P. Dunn. In 1968, Gary P. was a pharmacy major at the University of Texas at Austin. My alma mater, hook 'em horns. Anyway, by the uh, 1970s, Nunn was backing Jerry Jeff Walker in the Lost Gonzo Band, which parted ways with Walker in the late 70s. Nunn later moved on to a solo career. Oh, and by the way, Austin City Limits made the singer-songwriter's London Homesick Blues its theme for several decades. The refrain, Home from the Armadillo, referred to the famous Armadillo World Headquarters in Austin. In 2004, Nunn was inducted into the Texas Hall of Fame. Join me as we continue our look in the rear view at Winnie's recent Texas Rice Festival with Gary P. Nunn. She stays at home too much Says she feels so out of touch No, she ain't afraid to take a chance You see the girl just loves to dance We all know that uh, the media is, uh, is uh, you know, the media taking notice of you is uh, definition of making the big time you know so sure. it directs all the attention on you and well i don't know if it's big time but it's beaumont tv and you're on it it's uh, gary gary p nunn he's a texas music hall of famer um, originally from brownfield well actually from oklahoma but went to high school in brownfield i heard you were quite an athlete and then uh, yeah i and played ball a i was a, i was a little jock i played yeah. all four sports a year and, uh -huh. and uh, i just i just love that stuff you know being active and being participating in team sports and uh, it, it was just right up my alley so when did the music start for you well very early actually you know even when I was a small child in uh, in uh, in Oklahoma my dad and mom were school teachers in these little tiny little country schools yeah and uh, they didn't have church in the school so I remember like first grade uh, me and a friend of mine, we got up in front of the church and, and sang. And then, and then later on, uh, after I moved to Brownfield, a friend of mine got a Fender guitar. And I didn't even know him, but I spent the next four or five years at his house. Mm -hmm. We had a little band, played all during high school. We'd, we'd play football game, then I'd go play a gig for the kids after. So it's been something that I've enjoyed doing uh, for many years. And I always figured that maybe someday that, you know, we'd all be over with. And, but I always had another gig I could do, you know, so and, uh, as long as there's one gig on the calendar, I guess I'm going to show up. You know? Yeah. Hey, uh, well, um, Austin City Limits, do they still do London's Homesick Blues? Uh... No, they changed their format oh, over okay. there. and they, they started more of a kind of, a, I don't know what you call kind of music but they for play. for about 20 years, that is old, it's 30 years, actually. 30, 30 years, they yeah. had your uh, music in the theme of it. Right. Yeah. What, what's next? You got any uh, projects coming up? You bet. We're working on a record. I got to go over to Tuesday. Uh, we're, we're spending about one day a week in the middle of the week over the great producer, Tommy Dedamore. Mm -hmm. He's uh, a great player and a great uh, producer and a studio. He lives over around Floresville, Texas. And, and uh, so we're in there now. We're, we're about half done with it. And uh, I'm really excited about it. It's that song we finished with take, taking Texas to the country. Yeah. It's it's just the one that just gets us a uh, fantastic response. So that'll probably be, probably be the uh, the title cut. Right. And uh, it's kind of different because it's like it's like a Stevie Ray Vaughan, you know, R and B uh -huh. shuffle. Yeah. And uh, but people, you know, uh, feel they recognize that that genre and mm -hmm. they just you know they they fall right into it and it's yeah. got a a good course that uh, that it's easy for them to sing along, and they seem to uh, they seem to just get right into it right off the bat. For me, you know, that instantaneous uh, response is 
is what you're looking for. Sure. And so if you get that, you know, you, you know, you probably got a pretty good song. Yeah, that, that must be the thrill of uh, doing what you do is getting that instant response from the crowd. I mean, other people who do other things in the entertainment business don't get that. Maybe they have a TV show or right. or uh, radio. Right. They'll get it when when they go out to the grocery store and somebody <laughs> hears yeah. their voice or sees their face and then yeah. they go, oh yeah, that's what I do for a living. But you get that night every every night. Well, most most times we do. Yeah. yeah. Well, keep on doing it. I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. <laughs> Gary P. Nunn, it's a pleasure to meet you. King of the road. One, two, three, go! Yeah. It's the King of the Road Show, and we're looking in the rear view at the recent Texas Rice Festival in Winnie. Hope you've enjoyed our visit with the legendary Gary P. Nunn. Everywhere I look, I see concrete. I could use a little southern rain, just not tonight. Coming up next, Charlie Robinson. Winnie, Texas calls my name. 